U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Bridget Brink voiced optimism about the proposed $60 billion U.S. dollars aid to Ukraine while attending a machinery handover ceremony in Kiev on November 14.U.S. President Joe Biden requested emergency spending that U.S. officials say will total roughly $100 billion over the next year for Israel. Ukraine and Taiwan insecurity along the porous U.S. border with Mexico.IT may include $60 billion for Ukraine and $10 billion for Israel, sources said beforehand, as well as billions. For Asia and U.S. border security, Ukraine relies heavily on support from its partners, both militarily and economically. Recent calls from within the United States to review or cut assistance to Kiev have raised concerns about the future of the aid. The president has put forward a package for a significant amount of money for Ukraine, uh, over $60 billion. And Based on my conversations, I can say I have full confidence in our president, in our Congress, and in the American people in the fact that there is strong bipartisan support for Ukraine. So our process uh, will play itself out, but I'm feeling encouraged based on my conversations in Washington. Putin's aggression in Ukraine is a threat to Ukraine to Europe, to all democratic countries, it also is a potentially emboldens other would-be aggressors around the world. So the stakes are very high for you, obviously, but also for all of us. Uh. We're in planning stages to do some kind of joint uh, meeting, very likely in the U.S., in order to support your defense production. And this is something that's been agreed between our presidents. So we are working on this now. I think in the coming uh, days there might be some more information that comes out, but it is something that also, when I was back in the U.S., I spoke to the U.S.-Ukraine uh, Business Council, and there are many representatives from defense industries that are interested to come to Ukraine. And I encourage them to come and to work with your with the government here, uh, to tr and the Ministry of Defense and other ministries to try to support Ukrainians' ability to produce and repair your own weapons. In the Parisian, in the Kherson, in the Donetsk, in the Donetsk.